Well, y'all, it's Friday. We've made it five days. I have a sad dog sitting in the windowsill because Dad's at the neighbor's house. Let's see if I can see her. Oh, you can't see her. Wait, what? My movie curtain. See? Hi, Heidi Ho. Yeah, Dad walked back to talk to the neighbors, tell them what's going on. And Heidi didn't get to go. That did not make her happy. It is five o'clock and we are home. We've been to the hospital. We left at 6.30 this morning. She had surgery at 7.30 this morning. You see daddy? No, he, he'll come back. He'll come back. Be patient, be patient. Um, and they said it was gonna take an hour and they wheeled her back at 7.30. And 8.30 ticked by, 8.45, 9, 9.15, and then uh, at the two-hour mark at 9.30, it took her at 7.30. And um, Dad started pacing about an hour and a half into it, and I had that knot in my stomach. I'm like, gosh, what's going on? And so he walked back at about two hours after the surgery started, and um, they were just getting her set up back in her room the surgeon just hadn't had time to come out yet but the she made it through surgery and her um, oxygen level didn't drop like it did before and it looks really good they'll have to go back in in another four or five days clean the wound again in a minor surgery um, that might have to happen two or three times and once after another time or two, that's when they're going to put the wound back on. They haven't put the wound back on yet. Because I'm not done with the whole surgical procedures of cleaning out the wound. Um, they have her sedated. She's been resting comfortably in her room. Right now she's on dialysis. They were hooking her up this afternoon, about 2 or 3. She'll probably do a 4 hour session of that. And um, her oxygen level is good. Uh, when we had our meeting yesterday, you know, the doctor said he'd like to see her to get on 50 on her on her ventilator, and she's been on 50 today on her ventilator, so she's doing half the work, and the ventilator's doing half the work. Uh, day before yesterday, the ventilator was doing 100% of the work, and they dropped it to 85 and 80 and 70, and now she's at 50%, so she's slowly getting weaned off her ventilator. Um, so, it's just a slow, steady, slow and steady, people. Slow and steady. After the surgery, we felt a lot better because um, Grandma came up here, and then I drove me and Dad and Grandma all over and to the hospital. And, you know, like I said, it's a 25-mile drive, tw between 23 and 25 miles. And that is the longest 23 or 25 miles you ever have to drive. Um, so, yeah. We got there and cause we left here at 6.30. I guess it was a little further than that. We, got here, we left here at 6.30 and we got there at like 10 after 7. So it takes about 40 minutes to get to the hospital. We might have left at 6.40, I don't know. So, um, we came home. Dad and I left the hospital about 3.30. Stopped and got a bite to eat. I had some sushi people. We were leaving the hospital. Dad's like, well, let's stop and get something to eat. And I'm like, can we get sushi? Because it makes me happy. <laughs> He's like, sushi makes you happy? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, okay. So we went to the Asian Grill, which is not just down the street from the hospital. And um, stopped at the drugstore, picked up a thing, stopped at the bank. Because I've been writing out checks for the bills. And my mom had put me on the checking account, but my name wasn't on the checks. So I kind of had a thought of, can I really write out the checks? So we swung into the credit union and they said, yep, my name's on the account. I can write them out. So I'm like, good. Because today I mailed in our sewer water bill and I just mailed out the electric bill and dad's insurance. and uh, My dad's a static. He, he has one more month. He has to pay for insurance through where he works. He worked where he retired from. And then as of June, he will be on Medicare and he'll have to pay like $140, $150 a month 
for full coverage of everything he could possibly need. He said, heck, just the gas money I used to go back and forth to work would have been enough to pay for my insurance. So, he's happy. And, uh, what else is going on? Huh. This has pretty much been my life for the past five days. Home and hospital, trying to sleep. I'm so hoping to get good sleep tonight. I just got comfortable, just in that zone where you're like, oh, I found the perfect spot. And it was 5.30 and I had to get up. Getting up at 5.30. I am not a big fan. But it needed to be done. Got up, took a shower. I was getting just finished getting dressed when Grandma got here. And got on the road. And so now we're here. Dad's like, man, I could get home and get some of those rocks and stuff raked out of the yard. And I'm like, Dad, the rocks and the twigs will be in that yard tomorrow or the next day or the next day or two weeks from now. I said, you've not got enough sleep. It's rained all night yesterday and the yard's going to be wet. I said, don't worry about the rocks or the twigs in the yard. That is the least of your worries right now. But <laughs> you know how people's mind wanders of things that they can do to keep themselves occupied. So then he's like, well, I'll just do some laundry when I get home then. <laughs> He would walk in here last night. I was doing some paperwork. I was doing the, some of the bills. And he'd walk in and hold up. Is this your shirt? Yeah. Okay. And then he'd come in. Is it this your shirt? No, that's your shirt. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> bless him. He he knows some of them, but some of them he just would come in. Is this yours? So he's been the laundry woman. Our spirits are a little bit better. Uh, we just know it's going to be a long haul. Dad and I want to get some stuff, stuff done in the house before Mom comes home, which we know is going to be a while. I mean, we've already talked about, because um, there's no way the bed that they have is conducive to the wound that my mom has. Lizzie can tell y'all. Their bed is freaking all high. And so we're thinking about moving the couch over in front of our big picture window and making a spot for a hospital bed to go into our living room at some point. That's just a future plan. Um, so, excuse me. I thought I heard dad, but I guess I was just hearing things. It is windy out. Last night it stormed and blew and rained. And it's supposed to be talking about snow this weekend. What's up with that? And I know y'all noticed my new glasses and I and I I've actually had them for a few days. And I had been changing them, putting my old ones on when I did videos. So I could be in a better mindset for when I wear my new glasses and I could be all like, oh you you noticed it first. And last night when I did my video or yesterday or whenever I did it um I left my old glasses in the car and I just did not want to go out and get them and I'm like oh well I'm just gonna wear my new ones so yeah I've been swapping them out but I do like them they're comfortable and I like how the, they magnet my sunglasses magnet right on there they go cheesh so yeah cool mm -hmm. I think I have to look to see who noticed first I really wasn't in the mindset to even think about it. But I'm going to be racking up to 10 minutes here soon, people. That's my update today. Yay. Tomorrow I get to sleep in past 5.30, which I'm really thankful for. Because it was bad this morning. I'm like, I didn't want to get up. And I didn't want to go. It's just, it's nerve wracking. And then you get to meet so many nice people in the, in the waiting rooms and you know, how are your people doing? And they ask how our people are doing. And this nice lady is up there with her, for her husband and she doesn't want to leave. So we'll go get her coffee. Or this morning we got her a breakfast sandwich and brought it up to her. And I don't know. You just get to kind of know people. So, but now my time is running out. Thank you guys. I've missed you all. I haven't watched anything hardly. So, um, who knows? Maybe I'll even stop Instacam tonight. Oh, oh, eight seconds. Bye.